Okay, alright. Now I need to set up another thing here because. Um, I forget what I did here. I think it's like... YouTube. No, you want to use Twitch chat first. Then I get the stream. I hate how it takes things... Like, every time I stream, I have to change the program to use <laughs> to to use a new YouTube URL. Yeah. I think I used chat. Here we go. That was fast. Now I need to start up my game. <coughs> what are you going to be playing? I was just thinking about Twilight Princess. Alright. Interesting how I complain about a lot of things, and then, yeah, I'm like, I hate such and such about this game, and they're like, well, what are you going to be playing? Well, this the game, of course. That you hate. Yeah. I guess I just need to make sure, like, you know, know the game and don't worry about it. And make sure you go in without any kind of preconception. <coughs> like, what I mean is, like, and this is the same thing that fucked up that one. Uh, uh, there we go. The one thing where, um, well, don't have a mood because if you're, you have to be in the mood to be railroaded here. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know. You, you have to be in the mood to not think, or else you're just going to be shitting on it the entire time. Should have heard the the epic rant from the other day. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna last. This fucking shield right here is gonna last five seconds. Yeah. Like that fire right there. Why did it knock me back? I mean, I guess it's lava, but... I mean, I guess it's better than melting his bones. Like it should already be doing. Because every video game is completely unrealistic when it comes to lava. If an actual human being was this close to lava, oh, yeah. they would be like ultra deep fried. They look like freaking Char from Gmod. Wow, that worked! Nice. 
As I guess it'll be like a... Torch slice. How long can I keep the shield? Because it's a permanently... Like, once the... Yeah, once this particular wooden shield is gone, you can no longer get this model of wooden shield back. Ever. You can never get it ever again in that save file. And there's yeah, no way to put it away either. It's a, At least you can put it out by putting it back on your back somehow. I don't know if that's true. Like, if you get attacked by the fire keys, you're just... It's impossible. Oh, get used to this. Yeah. Also, this is supposedly a wooden... Yeah. Like a wooden chest. I thought yeah. it looked kind of like bronze or something. No, I always considered it wooden. But... But, yeah. And it's just sitting there at um, three bajillion degrees in the middle of a freaking volcano mine. Yeah. It's just fine. I forget how to get out of here. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe that works. You can put one boot on it and it works. <laughs> I think this is the uh, only other game in which the torch slugs appear in. What other game do they appear in? Um, OOT. I don't remember. Uh, the torch slugs were in the, um, the fire dungeon. Oh yeah, I remember them. They're kind of those flat creatures. Yeah. But this is the only other game they appear Tick in. Tick fucking talk. I think that they... So they don't appear in pure... And as far as I know, they don't appear in literally any of the 2D games. Oh yeah. I can't tell if that's wooden or... Hello. I don't know what happened to that one guy. So it is wood. Why is there so many wood things here? Yeah, maybe this is like ultra hard wood or some shit. Like wood from only the strongest plants that grow on Death Mountain. But yeah, it seems like a fire hazard. Granted, this whole place is a fire hazard. This is the main hub room, I guess. Yeah, it is for a while. This droning music. Yeah. This Isn't like... there like some bot, like kind of mini boss kind of things around here? Yeah, there is a mini boss in this dungeon, but not in this area. But yeah, this music. I think uh, last time I described it as like royalty-free trap beats, 2006. Sure. Which I like this. I, I, I like most of this game's uh, dungeon music. 
even though a lot of it can barely be called music because it's more of an atmosphere prone. guys. It's hard to see what's going on. These are so many birds. There, these are some birds. They're also pretty dumb. Nothing. Is this the key? Is it gonna do the thing? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. They made it so that the key opening isn't nuts. I think Ocarina of <laughs> Time has it do the full thing. Yeah, Ocarina of Time has it do the full thing for a lot of the chest. Any large chest. Which there were a lot of had the full fan like fear. yeah a big fanfare for getting a singular key that you're going to use in the next one. Yeah. Is this where the Yeah, this is the start of the uh, the the magnet. I remember this show. Oh, there's the dodungas. They just look like a normal freaking gecko. A big gecko that yeah. breathes fire. Honestly, I was more worried about having my shield not get burned there. Yeah. It would be so devious if they just put like a fire cues. Yeah. This is this game is currently the most recent appearance of Dodonga Chase in the series. And they're like the most boring Dodongos in the whole series. Really? I guess they got bored. Yeah. Well I mean I think it ties into the attempt at like pseudo dark fantasy realism that they wanted to go for with this game. Like you got like pterodactyl birds, you got goblins, you got giant lizards, such these fill the role of. Oh, no. Why is it making it come? Also, the fucking cool camera. Yeah, the camera sucks here. Yeah, I remember this as well. The camera just absolutely having a seizure trying to figure out how it orients itself. Can't go back. Okay, this fucking... Like, this, um... Look at this room, like, this cutscene. Opening each room is getting old. 
Like, it seems like it's all... It's like every room so far has done that. Yeah, I guess, like, the idea is to give you the scope of the room. But it kind of breaks the flow of the pace. It's like, just, you know, if you're confused, just the camera room. You don't have to have the game stop and wait for you to take it all in. Even though I think, like, the idea is that they're doing it for, like, clarity. But it's still a bit, like, it, it breaks the pace. Oh, we got fucking... Like, spider ball controls. Like in Metroid 2. Yeah. Who is this guy? Hello. I remember this. Ah. I thought I felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human. Word has come to me of you, and if Gorokuron has faith in you, then your heart must be true. This is silly. Yeah. <laughs> I am one of the four Goran elders. It's like the first two sentences here are... Like, stupid, like, JRPG fluff. Yeah. You got this thing. That's some of the key shades. The TLDR being... There's, like, two other ones of these. And... You find them, and you put them together, and you get the boss key. Yeah. Nobody looks at this room. Yeah, if you notice on the back wall, there's, like, Goron writing, which... <laughs> unlike, um, unlike Gerudo writing, which actually has translations and Hylian writing, I don't even think this one has translations. It's untranslatable, huh? Yeah, and I'm not from, like I don't think I saw this in uh, uh, Breath of the Wild either. So this might be uh, a special feature of Twilight Princess's forums as they had their own language briefly. Money. You see, it's getting old here. Yeah. Well, I'll be right back. All right. Where's the guy? There he is. Can I break it from here? No? They probably like have it where you have to like, like you have to throw a pot to break the switch. a switch or something. And that's the only pot. It's like a hype that I don't think there's anything like that either. Like, I don't think that ever happens. I'm just thinking, like, how are they gonna force you to encounter that guy? It's nice.
Like you can tell on the TV, there's this kind of fog effect that you can just barely see. On the stream, it's just not there. Cut too. You know what I forgot to do? So dumb. That's nice. Oh, this control. It's so weird. Is this the same room? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, shit in hell. when you die in lava. Yes, yes. The next one. Yeah. Because I remember it's like the first way you lose the wooden shield and realize that that shit's now obsolete and you have to get an iron one. Then again, Skyward Sword also makes it so that the iron shield is also um, the iron shield is like there's electricity yeah exactly which means after you lose your wooden shield you still have to get another one because soon you'll be encountering like electric enemies and you can't actually block their attacks with an iron shield because it deters you which I guess is creative, but it's really 
Doesn't it also like It's not entirely unwelcome, but yeah. <laughs> this is very slow. Yeah, that's the biggest issue with this mechanic. Is that like the magnet walking mechanic is slow as shit? It's like it's honestly, to be fair, it's almost like a perfect recreation of wearing the iron boots in the OOT. But that's not a good thing. Like, wow, I could be just as slow as in that one game. What is the point of this? Well, I mean, they said they wanted more Ocarina of Time, even though this is hardly. I mean. One of the things that was interesting about Ocarina of Time is that. It kind of tried to be like this game, where you were forced to do things. But it's N64, so they just failed. Yeah, they couldn't... They, they couldn't control you like they could with this game. They just didn't have the cinematic capacity thanks to the technology. Because it's very clear that they wanted to have more cinematic aspects in O. They just right. could not do it. This looks familiar. What is the point of these barrels if they don't do anything? Aesthetic? Um, yeah, I guess. It's like it's mocking you. The whole point is to get over there. The very, very slow path. Yep. I'm not pressing anything, I'm not doing anything, but I don't. But I'm just gonna do exactly the optimist thing right here. I'm just gonna go to the door. Once I get over where I'm supposed to go, then I'll mess around with different buttons. I 
I hope the YouTube chat program works. I know things change. It's probably still goes. I'm watching over here. This is a room that has two cinematics. Because one wasn't enough for this room. Yeah. The button. These, these things right here. Yeah, the fires. They're from hell. Why can't I see where I aim it? Get over here. There was, like, they're too far away. This is more like a pointing device. You're pointing at something, trying to track it. This is not what a joystick was made for. Yeah. Why can't I...
so unless they decided to reappear. How ridiculous would that be? It just to, if the if they decided to respawn the keys because I was because I decided to be careful. <laughs> like, oh, you're not allowed to have this. There's water here. No, yeah, just like a so tech tights achieved. Why don't they want you to look at them? They're too erratic to actually really look at. Yeah. They don't want you to look at him. They don't want you to... Maybe that ties in with the... Okay, I need to stop going all conspiracy theorist here. Okay, ultimately the reason why they don't care about, like, visib- like, like, oh, how come you can't look at these, like, enemies without them attacking you? Well, they're enemies. Of they course. You have no reason to look at them, just kill them. Like, holy shit. <laughs> But obviously, it, like, it's kind Isn't of that anti-artistic? Um, not necessarily. Because the idea is that they're enemies that you kill because they're enemies. And because you can see enemies. them fine, but if you, if you want to actually see them in detail, you're going to need, like, you know, a nice image of the model or whatever. You're not going to be able to admire them in-game very well because they're trying to kill you. Sometimes they don't want you to do that, though. They want you to look at them in-game. Yeah, because usually it's like boss enemies or it's like a cutscene where... Like, where the hell the are you going to get the model? Like, assuming, okay. like... Because I'm kind of well, going off of what they the want you to. Yeah. What they want you to do. Do they want you to not look at them? Um, no, it's... Ultimately, it's just a lack of consideration for, like... Like... Like, there is a fiddle, like, renders of the tech type that are in nice detail. But the problem is, is that you're not going to be able to get a model viewer because Nintendo just doesn't do that. They don't... They are at least haven't considered the value of letting things like um, Resi Resi's gotten pretty good at this in fact a lot of like big games have gotten pretty good at this at including model viewers with their games in fact like the Final Fantasy 7 remake does have a model view allowing you to admire the intricate detail of the models 
Right. But Nintendo hasn't gotten to that yet. They uh, don't seem to think that's important, especially not back then. But I wouldn't like doubt that they might consider that in the future, since it is a cool feature. But yeah, this is just an old game, and standards were different. It's like they were the fucking... They were barbaric! Yeah, to be fair, it's not just Nintendo at this age. Most games didn't give a shit about their, like, nice models and their Everyone was assets. barbaric. It's like, what happened? Maybe it's because I... the lack of internet? The lack of internet, possibly, and the lack of the idea that video games are art. Um, like, and this is still like a big debate now, but it was a lot bigger debate back then, with many people considering video games to not be art. Like, it's just not art, but, of course, nowadays it's, like, actually super. Like, it's actually dead to not consider video games art. Well, I mean, yeah, like, like, be, it, like movies, like right? If you said this shit today. <laughs> if, you say, if you say that video games aren't art, then you also have to say that movies aren't art. Yeah. Because it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's just a playable movie. Like, essentially, yep, obviously, like, the format and the structure is completely different, but essentially it's, like, visuals on the screen that you watch. The only difference is that with video games, you get to control those visuals. Right. Mm. But, yeah, the biggest part of the reason why uh, that uh, games back then did not have things like model viewers or you know, dexes to allow you to look at the enemies and the, the stuff is because they just did not value that kind of thing. They didn't think they just valued that kind of thing. Right. And if they don't think players value it, then why the shit would they put it in? <laughs> Even if their idea What's of the player's point? value is full blood. What did they think it was? What did they think what would? Video games. Um, I thought it was like a fun thing that cool kids did. I guess. I don't know. I How can they Vinny forget? Watch... How can they. What? I feel like if this happened, like. If somehow the technology existed a hundred years ago, we would not be having this conversation right now. Yeah, seriously. The only time we'd be having a conversation is if we were talking about, like, ancient archaic games. Like, if this, if this game existed in that timeline in which video games existed a hundred years ago, this game would be, like, like, literal decades. Like, like, 50, 60, 70 years old. Dude, Maybe well, even, what like, I'm thinking is, 100. like, the mines, the... Then again, maybe not. Like, you have to think, like... Why didn't people care about them? What what part of them caused them to not care? Is it because of how it came about? Um, I think it's because of the idea for a very long time that video games were for kids. Uh, the amount of How did video games come f like how did video came How did that come about? Like how did the idea that video games are for children come about? Uh, consumer video games. Um, originally, arcade games were considered like an adult thing, but kids, you know, got interested in them because, you know, they're, they're cool and new and ooh, technology. And then consumer video games happened, and technically that's where everything went into the children. Like, video games began catering to kids, um, and families and stuff, and it sort of came like a, a family slash kid thing. Like, it originally was advertised as being like a family thing, for like the whole family to sit around and watch you play, like, Pac-Man on the Atari 2600. <laughs> this doesn't but... help out, like... Like, it's supposed to be, like, they considered, 
like video games, like the board games for the new age during that sort of time. You know, it's unlike board games, it's like the TV. And so your whole family could sit around and they could like take the second player. It was way less about the graphics and the detail and way more about the experience of like bonding with other people. What was this? The with this visual like thing happening on the screen. Nobody thought that movies were for children back then. Yeah. Is it because of the, um, it might have been, is it political? Social um, and political? I'm not sure exactly. All I know is that they, I guess, like, the, the commercialization of games turned out to be extremely effective. Because a lot of things, chil like, a lot of things, like, there were a lot of things marketed for children back then. Yeah, another thing, animation, which went through the same or similar thing as video games, which for a, the longest time, people considered animation a children's, like, medium. Right. Like, it's only for kids, and then people started making, like, edgy adult films about it, and people got upset because it's like, it's not, you can't do that, it's, think of the children, and it's like, bruh, this isn't a genre, it's a medium. You don't have to just create children's films with this shit. You right. can do whatever you want. Which caused a ton of experimentation and essentially sort of revolution of animation as, like, the bigger medium that it is today. Right. And it's still not quite there, just like I'd argue that video games are both... Video games, I think, have gotten farther in this sort of divide between children's video games and adults' video games. But, like, in terms of, like, video games that are meant to be accessible to kids and video games that are meant for a mature audience, there's a clear genre there, and there's plenty of games for either of those crowds. But animation still has problems with the general idea that it's still just for kids. I think so it might have been, well... It's kind of weird. Why always, because... In the beginning, like, you, we all know the... the, the we all know the, um, in the beginning there was nothing. Something yeah. has to come out of that. Uh, I believe the origin, like, the ultimate origin of the video games was, like, some freaking, like, uh, it was, like, a military technology or some shit like that. I forget exactly. But the first video game was on this, like, like, bajillion freaking huge-ass fat, like, fat's an understatement, like, I'm talking buildings worth obesity, uh, like, computer that it was computing that's how video yeah. games really yeah and you could started. the thing that made it the video game is that you could draw lines on the computer so it's not really a game but it is it's a video you can like a visual thing that you could interact with on the computer the first... and that yeah that was considered like the first sort of video the first game video games were experiments in computer programming. The first yeah, video games even... that are, like, undeniably video games. Yeah. Um... Let me see here. I mean, you have Space War, and then yeah. before that you have Knots and Crosses, and you have Drafts, which were all for, well, I mean... Knots and crosses and drafts were for vacuum tube computers. Yeah. Space War was for the PDP-1 from 1961. They were both... Both of these computers were original. I mean... The first two for the vacuum tube computer were made for... Like, the computer was made for military purposes and scientific purposes. Yeah. Um, 
the um, the PDP one was a little bit later and was pretty much made for anyone who wanted to buy it. Yeah, anyone who could buy it, of course. Yeah. Cause yeah, like the the first video game ever that, that people consider like the video game is obviously on. Like you you have the two lines on the opposite side of the screen and then you have the square and it's like pop. But digital. The best part is that Pong was created by Atari. They didn't even call it... And the thing, Pong wasn't even their first game. Pong wasn't even Atari's first game. Yeah. But that's kind of like the meme first game. Yeah, that's like... Yeah, that's when, when people like talk about the first game, their mind immediately jumps to Pong. Even though that's technically not the first. It's not there even was close. Yeah, there was plenty of shit before then. Space War was hilariously. Like, Space War was before Pong. Those two games were before Pong. There was another game. It was like TV video game or whatever. It was like the cat. I don't remember. It turned into the Magnavox Odyssey, which was before Pong. The Magnavox Odyssey was before Pong. Yeah. That was a literal console that you could buy. There's a commercial on YouTube. I'm sure this door right here is a mini boss. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hey, I remember this one. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, this is the other uh, room. Yeah, I remember this. With the freaking stupid shooting the fire arrows. They really want you to get rid of your shield here. Yeah, they want to like make you feel the pain of not having a shield. They didn't even consider the fact that this would be the only one that you could get. It's like the artistic art didn't even matter. If they could make this game. But if they could make this game without these graphics, then they would have. Yeah, because they would. It's just that think graphics it had care. become such like a big thing. Like even though art hadn't been properly recognized with video games yet, people like were still super into the idea of like realism in games. Yeah. How real can we make it? Can we make it like real life. crazy how like much people cared about graphics and yet how little people cared about art yeah it's it's weird because like it's weird because people don't think like people assume that those two things are exactly the same but there's two very different things going on there yeah. one cares about like how close the visuals can be to a real life like visual yeah Whereas the other one is talking about the artistry and, you know, like, wow, look at these, like, this is like sandbags or rocks or some shit in a cage. And it's like, sort of like world building here because they like mine shit. It's like, I guess, like, storage or some shit like that, but nobody cared about that shit. Nah, how... Like, let me see how real this freaking rock is. Oh, this is a pretty real rock. Wow, I can almost feel the heat of the laser. It's so real. And I guess Nintendo was a little bit further with regards to the art, but not by much. Yeah. Because Nintendo, I guess, they realized, uh... Uh, that, like, whereas a lot of games were trying for this more and more realism, for the most part, with the exception of this game and a few others, Nintendo kept with stylization. You're right. Which is part of the reason it got so stigmatized as, like, the baby games 
during this era. How insane were people? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just really goes to show how how much realism mattered for video games in this this era. Like how insane were people back then? Yeah. Like what was wrong with people? Um, marketing. <laughs> Unironically marketing. You know, maybe this the... idea that, that that graphics were the only thing that mattered. Yeah. And people bought it. Like they they were sold. Like oh yeah yeah I think graphics what are the I only remember? thing that mattered. What do I remember? Because I was, you know, because I, my first console that I can remember is the Super Nintendo. And then it went on to the N64. And then the GameCube. And I, of course, I also had the PS1 and the PS2. Yeah. And I think after that I had the Wii, but I didn't really play it that much. And then the internet happened. Yeah. And really, the internet happened before the Wii. But that's like when you like really started using it or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I started using it a lot in 2006. 2000. I mean, first computer that I can remember, and I'm sure I've told you about this, <laughs> is um an old Pentium One computer that had AOL on it. The meme. Yeah. They even had the fucking you got mail shit. <laughs> Did you get any? Uh, what's that? That famous virus? Love letter or whatever? Wave hello. Mm, I. I never actually used email. Okay. <laughs> I never used email back then. Crisis uh, averted. All I did was I, I, like, I knew what Google was. Because it was like, Google was like the big meme back then. Like, Googling stuff. Yeah. I mean, people still call it Googling. Yeah. Unless they have being... In which case, they're... they're, they're like, Google freaking monitors everything you do, but at the very least, the search results are actually relevant most of the time. Also, this this uh, Goron right here is directly based off of the old Goron model um, from, like, uh, the 64 Zeldas. Really? Specifically, the old Goron from Majora's Mask. This dude looks, this like, nice. almost exactly the same. It is beyond price, and so we have protected it. Now, when our tribe balance is on the brink of ruin, it could aid in our salvation. The hero's weapon is sword safely up ahead. Take it. I assume that I have to beat a mini-boss for that, but... Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, like, this guy just literally has more polygons. And, like, better textures. Yeah. This is the guy that freezes. Yeah, and then you have to unfreeze and, and like, do a race so you can get the gold, so you can make the gilded sword. Yeah. Yes. You know, I wonder if the fucking... I wonder what it looks like in MM3D. Um, I can't remember, but he looks pretty similar to this. Like, it's not... It's it's not really... I'm not really, like, remembering any specific details in which you look too different. Right. <laughs> the freaking pots, like, geometry just, like, pushed you an entire foot. Oh yeah, that happened. It says something about this game that I didn't even think about it when that happened. Yeah, the weird collision for everything. Instead of just breaking on contact. 
I like these rooms, by the way. They have a nice change of pace. Yeah, these, like, like, like these... chill rooms. They're like breather rooms. Notice that round room right there that looks like the boss. Yeah, that's definitely mini boss. Because the arena of the mini boss is literally just a circle by the mine. I don't even remember the mini boss. So that's probably not. Yeah, this mini boss is super good. It'll be and so is, like, the, uh, the final boss of this dungeon is also pretty yawn-inducing compared to Diababa. I remember this, the new, I remember the boss, kind of. Yeah. But it's just, I never found it to be as interesting right. as Diababa visually. Because it's just kind of like a big smoky figure with, yeah, like, yeah. lava. It's like, well, it's... It's... A lava elemental wow. I like how it actually rotates <laughs> when you go in Yeah, it's like you can actually see through Link's eyes here. Yeah. Well the thing though is that it's not like real life here. It's inherent like because if you look upside if you turn your head upside down, it just looks like it's right side up. Yeah. But here, you don't have that, so it literally looks like the world has been turned upside down here. If you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. I wonder how many shenanigans are gonna be in these boxes. I got a yellow rupee. Oh, there actually is a little design there. It makes me wonder why do game why did game developers care about making things look nice if they didn't care about the art. I think it was solely You know, to it might have been like the a, expectations of you know what it was? Mm -hmm. I, I I get the feeling. I know. I think that it might have been like a different mentalities. Like the people who make these art, like the people who make the models and the textures, are obviously artists. Yeah, totally. Like obviously, like they do the art because they like they doing the art. Yeah. They like the detail, but also they add the detail because detail is what's required. Like for people to go like, wow, look at this detail. Yeah. Like, look at this realism. They didn't even... So the artists are the ones who actually, like, presumably, just, like, th they always had been appreciative of the art. Yeah. Because a shit ton of art was required to make these graphics. It's literally required, and that's just how they are. Yeah, but... it's the difference be between the way the artists, you know, made this shit in the way it was sold as just being this cool realistic experience completely devoid of the idea of any actual artistry or the type of work that went into this right. it's just like and it, I think it also goes back to um, if you notice nowadays beta shit is like everywhere Right. Like, people are freak losing their shit because they get to see how their favorite game works. They get to see, like, the, the failed things that the developers tried to do. Right. The devlogs where they, like, like, sweared and, like, got yeah. angry because <laughs> they couldn't code something correctly. People love that shit, but people didn't have an appreciation or even an awareness like they did back then that they do now. I don't remember this entirely. Basically, this is just like a Koopa boss fight for Mario. 
He tries to knock you off the platform, but you can use the boots to keep him from doing that. And you also, like, hit the obvious weak point for obvious damage. Also, just to make sure that they can't hit him, like, while he's in this mode where he blocks, it doesn't matter where you hit him, he's still invincible. Yeah. Scabbard Slugger also had enemies like that. It's like, that's what I'm talking about right here. This is a good example of a fucking... a boss Jeez. where you have, like... There's obviously this rule where he blocks to block your sword. But, in order to make it so that the game... In order to make it so that the fight goes how the developer intends, they also just completely disable damage from your sword as if it was like... As if it's like magic. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what happens, you must do it the way the developer wants you to. And this blocking animation might as well not even be there. Yeah. It's kind of stupid in this regard. Like, they cheat. This is the. They fucking cheat to fucking make sure that you do it their way. Yeah, they cheat you, but you can't cheat them. This is unironically like freaking Bowser from Mario 64 without the floating balls. Set the damage. I'm I'm 100. percent Um, the damage I think is entirely based on how many times you throw him into lava. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's three. Also, so I have, have no hearts lost here. Nothing. Yeah, holy shit. I'm basically dead. I'm a walking ghost here. Might as well save, so at least you save your progress in the dungeon, right? Or wait, no, you save when you die anyways, so it's not actually a big deal. Is that even... I wonder if they do that intentional wait, or, my, or maybe I'm just dumb. and everything. You have to wait for it. Mm -hmm. And it's still faster. It's still faster. <laughs> it's still faster to, um... I know I have to watch the fucking cutscene again. Uh. Probably. I get the feeling, because I feel like that's something they would do. Is there really, is that necessary? Once you see it the first time, you should be able to skip it. There's no excuse other than to make yeah, you I feel mean, it bad. Yeah, I mean, it had the um, press. You know why like, they did what? that? Because what? they want you to make, they want to make you feel bad. They want to make you feel fucking shitty. Yeah. That's just conspiracy theorist shit, isn't it? Yeah, Maybe I'm just going insane. I mean, essentially, the biggest issue is prescribing that even thought about this shit. And that they did it intentionally to make people hate you. Like, why would they do that? Of course. 
I need to calm down. It's not even hard. Yeah, it's just making sure that you don't slip off the platform. And I think this is a basic, like, three times shit anyways. Yeah. I'm just bad at games. I like how Link moves this fucking sword out pretty fast here, though. Yeah. Oh, this fucking... What was that? That hurt a lot. Who knew that humans were capable of such feats and strength? Maybe you are gonna see the patriarch of our tribe, he says. That is why you are here, so take the weapon. You must save the patriarch. I'm sure there's actually no... It's funny how, like, some things they force you to do without telling you and other things, they're like, you must do this thing, but not really. <laughs> or, or, they, or they say, you must do this thing, but you're already on the way to doing the thing, so it's like, why even bother telling yeah. you again? Like, there's like, like, repeated, like, go save the world, Link, and it's like, yeah, I've heard this like five times, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah. There's also... Also note there's a fade out transition here. So it's a different map. Yeah. Well, so fun fact about the Gorons. We know practically nothing about them and other than the fact that there appears to be no like female or at least like female coded Gorons. Unlike the Zora and the Gerudo, which we already know the lore behind them. Right. Kinda like sucks, we don't. But, yeah. We got the heroes, but this treasure of the Gorons is said to have once belonged to a hero from the past. Ooh. So is that legit? Uh, I guess. Why did it just fall down again? Did they come one? out of the wall? Is there a spawner there? I guess. I forgot Maybe that you it's don't... It's for farming items, if you wanted. Okay. Thank you, um... Yeah. But yet, yeah, like, all that we know about Gorons is the fact that they appear to be entirely, like, male-coded, at least, whatever culture they are. Right. And, um, they don't appear, like... Like, we've seen, like, child Gorons, and, like, younger Gorons, and, like, old-ass Gorons, but we don't know where they come from. And also, that thing just fell out of the ceiling. What was that? Oh, those are a bundle of arrows. Just fell, though. So, yeah, it's just a, I guess, an arrow. Yeah, it just point. popped out of nowhere. Just materialized. Yeah, like, <laughs> literally a spawner. You have no choice. Also, be careful. I don't even know where I am right here. Bemos.
Oh, right, I remember this. I have to shoot him in the eye, but I don't know if that'll do anything here. He looks already dead. Yeah. And unlike last time, you can't reclaim your arrows. Yeah! I forget what game it was where you could do that. Um, Baru. In Minecraft. Yeah. The two Zelda games. Minecraft is the best Zelda game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they tried to make a Zero, like, they tried to make a, a sequel with Bado, but, you know, they could only get so far. They just went a little bit too experimental. Am I dumb? Um, I think you pulled them. I don't know how though. Hello. They're all alive now. Oh, shit. I guess you killed them and then you pull them? Or maybe they just die when they die? No, I guess it's like... Okay. There's no sights with this. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Yeah, I guess you pulled them after they have come the dead because there's tracks in the ground. I guess there might be a site where if you look at the arrow, there's this polygon that sticks out. Yeah, so I guess it's like right an organic there. site. There's this polygon that sticks out to the left of the arrow tip. And then you just match up that, that's the height, and then the arrow center is the arrow, which I might be completely wrong here. Of course, there's also... Never mind, I'd say that's pretty accurate. That's ridiculously accurate, what the hell? You know, we should... Can I push it now? Yes. I don't know why you couldn't pull it before. Oh, because the, there was, like, things locking it to the ground. Okay. There was, like, a peg in the way. That was holding it in place. Now the peg is not... I kinda like that. It gives a, an in-the-universe explanation for their shenanigans. Here's the thing, I don't mind shenanigans. Yeah, if it if it seems it's well fleshed out and not the shallow attempt to block the player, yeah, getting an easy way out. If they actually make it work, the thing I look, the thing I might like, the thing with shenanigans is that it needs to be fleshed out. You can't just have it be like some shitty like a, an example of a bad one. Is like where he was blocking his hand earlier. Like he was blocking Yeah, where he his just hand. auto blocks. It doesn't matter what your timing is, he just auto blocks that shit. Yeah, and even if you somehow get your sword past his hand, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, and Scarabor does this shit too. Like the, the Stalfos specifically, I remember. They have a specific, like, either vertical or horizontal slash that they want you to do to them and if you try any other slash the, they auto block it and it was bullshit nice. but oh yeah those are the stupid ones this is more of a good example where they have this peg in the ground and the fences. I mean, I guess you could argue, why can't you get past this? You could fit your fucking body through that. 
Yeah, I think this... They could have done a little bit better with blocking the thing. The only reason you can't get past this is because collision just sucks. And yeah. they knew it, too. Otherwise, they would have made it look better. Like, this isn't going to block anybody unless they're following the rules of the game. Yeah. Like, if Link really wanted to, and there was no other possible way around that he could think of, he could squeeze through that gap. Yeah. Kind of makes me wonder. It's like, it's like if you're making a prison, right? In a video game, you're making a prison. And then you make it so that it conforms to the fucking collision. So you have these fucking ridiculously wide bars. You're these, you like, cartoon-wide bars? Yeah. And it actually works. Which is... Yeah, it works in-game, but realistically it looks yeah. silly. Because it's also, like, it's oh like... no, like, what character is going to say, oh no, my collision can't fit around these bars? Yeah. And I think this kind of goes up in... Like, you mentioned, like, the realism thing earlier. Like, everyone was so... Ca like, they cared about realism so much. But only in graphics. They didn't yeah. give a shit about literally anything else about the game. Like, how about... Like, oh, they wanted realistic graphics, but they didn't care about... Oh, there's about... a chest in this room, by the way, just in case you don't miss it. They wanted realistic graphics, but they didn't care about realistic anything else. Yeah. It's literally... And I feel like part of this, like I said, a lot of this was the marketing. Which, I think the marketing just went from the out-of-touch angle that people seemed to like it when cool games were made. And so the idea is just to make the games cooler. But how do they make the games cooler? And I, I don't know how they came to the conclusion, but apparently people liked games when they were realistic. Well, I like games when they're logically realistic. Something yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> That's the thing. Here's the they thing. only thought about the graphics. Yeah. Logical realism is true realism. Like, because here's the thing. If your game isn't logically realistic, it's nonsense. That's the opposite of what... Like, the opposite of logic is nonsense. But... And I think that when people... Like, yeah, and I want my games to be logically realistic. Something that could realistically happen even if the graphics don't look very realistic yeah and the second thing closest to that is to have a logically consistent game yeah even if the the things that are logically that, that are logical for those games aren't logical in real life at the very least it's consistent with its, exactly it's logic exactly like a statue. Bleh. It's, it's the, uh, the, f the first is, it's a reference to, um, the, the Sheikah guys to Breath of the Wild. It's, it's a reference from, like, the past future. Also, there's, like, Dodongo skins on the walls. Oh. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Tilted putt. Is there like... Tilts when you. Yeah, that's weird. That one's even weirder. It's on its. What the? <laughs> rotating putt. I think what happens is that it's supposed to break here. Like it's rotating so that it breaks. 
But it's not, it doesn't fall far enough for it to actually break. But that doesn't count, that doesn't stop the rotation. So you yeah. get weird things. You can still pick it up, and it fixes itself. Ah, you are here at last. I heard that you might pay a visit, young human. I am farsighted in all things. Here you go, the last key shard. Combine all three shards. You collected all three key shards and completed the big key. It looks like a model from Skyward Sword. Right? I suppose I should trust your power considering you came this far. Hurry now to the Patriarch's room. The guy doesn't have eyes. Well. I'm probably not used to it, they say. Ah. Hey. Oh, there was money in there. Hey. Where was those skins you were talking about? Uh, they're on the wall. Like, the back wall. Oh. It's just... yeah. They're a texture. It's like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, the Dongo skins, it's like 64 texture. Slightly better resolution, but still blurry. I might take a little break right here. Right. Give me a moment.
you were still here. You. Took a little bit longer, but. My boy, oh boy. Pretty much now it's just a straight shot to the end yeah. to the dungeon, as it usually is. They could just like put a little alcove right here with a chest in it, you'd never know. Yeah. The nightmare. I hear peace, I think. At least the bow is actually effective for long range. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do I get money with... Like, if I'm at... Do I get money if I'm full of arrows or something? Um... You shouldn't. It's not... Where am I even anyway? Or you should? I, I'm not sure. Uh, is there even a way to get over there? Unless... Like... What if... Uh, I don't know. Oh man, if they made the fire keys to respawn, that would be evil. Oh yeah, seriously. I think like the idea is that uh, can you put that torch out? I don't know what that would do though, actually. I might try. It doesn't reach. It's mm. interesting the fact that you you just consider the idea of a this is too obvious. There's no way that would work. Then what the heck is the point of this side of the room for? I'm probably dumb. There's something amazingly obvious. I can't imagine you could climb any of this. I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to hit that thing right there. Let's hurry to the room. Yeah, great idea. Almost as bad as Navi. Yeah. This is not helpful. Is there even a point of coming in here? And the fucking things respawn anyway, so... Am I supposed to come in here from a different angle? I don't think I'm going to be able to jump across that gap. That's undiscoverable. What the heck? What happened? What did you do? I missed it. I bonked on this gate. 
Oh. That's so stupid. There's no yeah, way you'll be able to find, like... That's not very well, um... It's well hidden, but... Not yeah, but it's not well telegraphed. Like, yeah. it's, I, I felt like there was nothing about that fence that said that you needed to bonk it. Yeah. I mean, there's this part that's broken, but come on. How many Yeah, that could things? just be aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, that's frustrating. The, gov the game developers just didn't give a fuck. Shit, hell. That is so stupid. Uh, tiny platforms fighting a freaking like, And you only get lizard. to do it once. So because if I do it now, it's game literally game over. Yeah. Guess it's a little bit better now, but not by much. There's things here that are here. That's just my memory right there. Does the guy come back? Can I do this instead? It's like the game knows that I'm rich, so it gives me more money, because it knows it's useless. Maybe by the end of this I'm gonna be a full-on fucking X-turd. No, the conspiracy. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I think it's the... Like, it seems the game prioritizes things that you're low on, but rupees aren't one of those things it prioritizes. It'll give you rupees even if you have rupees out your ass. That's one of the big complaints about this game. Yeah, which, later on, you can buy, like, an extremely expensive tunic that, uh costs money just to wear so I mean I can get part of that but that's completely optional and right now you have no chance of getting that tunic because you can't even go to Hyrule Castle Town you'll get there but does it even serve any purpose by that point? um if you like tanking hits really easily it's basically the only thing it's, it's just it's a big boost in your defense but it it's practically like Super Sonic's form, where you have to keep feeding it currency to keep it up. Apparently, like, I remember that was, like, 
It's ultimately probably one of the shitties like alternate armors you could ever get in a Zelda game. Like apparently the game used to have magic, but they got rid of it. Um, yeah, I feel like that tunic would have been great for like magic and not monies. But obviously that didn't happen. Mainly because it's easier to fill up magic than money. Yeah, because money you have this like constant burdensome cap, which to be fair, the cap is a lot higher than a lot of other Zelda games. That doesn't necessarily make it good. Because you're still already at the second dungeon and don't really have a good place to spend this money at, and you're You've been, like, full with your wallet for, like, ever now. You know how dangerous that is to jump slash on this little platform? A yeah, lot. Holy shit. Oh my god, and it knew. It fucking knew. Fuck this game. So it's literally worthless to come over here. Wow. Guess you could go through the other door now? Unless this was the door. Yeah, this was the door. Then what's... then where's the bus? Good. I just wanted arrows. Yeah, good luck hitting those. It seems like every pot has a fixed item instead of being dynamic at all. Yeah, I think it's similar in, in some cases to uh, previous Zelda games. Like, I think OOT also did this. There's no way I'm doing that without killing those guys first. Seem to make it. I'm always afraid to exit these because I don't want to waste ammo. And, but I also don't want to... I also don't want to, like, open up my sword or unactivate the boots or whatnot if I was on one of those things. Yeah. at this point that I kind of wish that it did run on the moon. That was just a lucky shot. Oh, 
Oh, but honestly, just trying closer. This is a really shitty vantage point. Oh, that one's dead. It's just one more. I think that might be it. Took half my arrows. Dot might be real. Yeah, because I think that's that's like the, the marker Hello. of the uh, sealed shadow or whatever. Once again. <laughs> these frogs. I'm sorry, but why can't I shoot through those fucking thick-ass spars? Like, look at how wide the gap is. Yeah, now this is something that, that, um, this is... gets right. Like, in Scarlet Sword, there's an entire, like, part of a dungeon where it counts on you being able to shoot through the bars. Whereas this is... It's just a wall. It looks like a gate, but it's not. It's just a big square. I've been here before. Yeah. Because last time you didn't have a way to reach that thing remotely, so you had to hit it, like, by walking up there. Low on arrows. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's this shit. At least they have a ranged weapon this time. With enough ammo to actually do something with it. Hello. It's fucking insanely... Hello. No. Oh, there's a guy right there. one right there. It looks like a, he might be in reserve, because there's a fence and I can't I get the feeling the HD version might break the segment. Just because you could see much easier. Yeah.
aliasing on that fence there. Yeah. It's like blipping in and out. Did I do it? that nobody has ever went down. Secret ladder. <laughs> oh, this view camera. It makes it... Because here's the thing. I want to be able to see these gaps that I'm jumping on. Yeah, like, but it's positioned too low. The game is like, no, you're gonna see these things right here, which I've already killed, so it doesn't even help. Oh. Game doesn't care about it when the camera's right under it. It just wants you to see that area up there. There's something right there. I can't... This looks so much better on the CRT. I wonder if there's like a CRT shader that would make it look better. Secret passage. Nice, nice. Shoot you through here? No, that shit is just retarded. Yeah, that's literally a rectangle that they essentially quote unquote colored to look like it had a space in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Explosive arrows. Which I didn't have to do. I remember this. I'm not blind. 
I just need to be able to get over there somehow. Is that how I get over there? I guess. Seems like it works. It's like I look up and suddenly I'm playing the Wii version. <laughs> Honestly, having the fucking controller be, like, considering how this game actually used the Wiimote, having it be mirrored has got to be one of the stupidest things. Yeah, it was completely pointless and ultimately, Hello. like, the I, like the reason why it happened is because a majority of Wii players are um, right-handed. Yeah. But so really, it's just exclusionists to poor left-handed players. But that's not even the only thing, right? How do you use the... the it's waggle control. It's not even like Skyward Sword where you can actually make a case that that could be useful. Yeah, you literally just... In fact, if you don't want to waggle, you literally just say... Yeah. So there's no reason to even do that shit. Yeah, the only improvement that the Wii version has over the other is that you get to, like, manually aim and point your arrows for extra precision. And by That's... precision, I mean in quotes, because... Yeah, extra precision. If, you're, if your freaking sensor bar is even 1% stupid, it's gonna be not fun. And that's, like, 99% of sensor bars. Yeah. Especially with how many times it's fallen off the top of my TV, holy shit. But yeah. Like, honestly, if they really wanted to, they could have, like, had this control with a, the Wii Classic controller. And it would still have been or a fine. GameCube controller. Yeah, or just a GameCube controller. But I think it was yeah. like the later, later gen Wii's did not have GameCube ports. That's a good point. And by the time the GameCube adapter came out, it was already dead. Yeah. Which only came out, by the way, because of Melee. Like, it didn't come out for any other reason other than, like, Melee fans being like, We like to play the new Smash, but unfortunately, our playstyle is exclusively with the GameCube controller. Which means we, we unfortunately cannot buy this game, Nintendo, and Nintendo was like, oh shit, oh fuck. And so they just <laughs> made a, a port that, like, at the start of the port was extremely hard to find because it was sold out everywhere because everyone bought it. And nowadays, I think it's back to being extremely hard to find because it was a limited run. Meanwhile, I managed... I never had any problem. I just bought it. Did I just shoot his arrow out of the fucking air? Whoa, Eddie. Collision arrows. I wonder what you do here. Oh. <laughs> There's an army. Oh, shit. Get over here.
They went into the lava. It'd be cool if you saw him actually... Yeah, they just lay on top of the lava and die. Which is technically actually the most realistic lava death I've ever seen in a video game. Like, fun fact, did you know that sinking into lava is hilariously not a thing that would ever happen unless you were really freaking dense? Be... Like, inhumanly dense? Yeah. But then again, I think you'd be fucking, like, charcoal by the time you're even this close. Yeah, like, it's only realistic because, like, in reality, if you laid on top of lava, you would be laying off of lava. Like, that's just how it works. But everything else about this situation is completely illogical and not how lava works. But yeah, it's it's funny because people think of like like lava as just like like hot cheese or whatever that you could just sink into, but actually rock is very dense, and that's what lava is. It's literally just hot rock. Yeah, like, would you sink into a rock unless you yourself were, like, made of freaking lead? Probably not. Right. Now, unfortunately, I don't have another bottle, and I don't even know if I could get another bottle at this point. Uh, um, I, if I remember correct, this guy is piss. Isn't he basically just, like, a longer version of the other one? Um, I think... All I know is there's a part where you have to pull his chain to make him trip. I remember that shit. And it was, like, fun, but not particularly hard. Ooh, a double door. There he is. I'm curious, did they give this guy another texture in the HD version? Um, they gave everyone an elixir. So, that means this guy got a nice texture upgrade too. But I don't know what it was. <laughs> Hopefully it was something more interesting than just this, like, look, it's a shadow, but also lava. Yeah. It's a lava shadow. Get it like a virus, but with fire, a fire. <laughs> Stupid. I don't really know what I'm doing. Either. Grab the obvious hand. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. It's just begging for you to trip him. They don't like it when you get close, so. Yeah. And I can't see because the camera is always trying to make it so that I look at it. Which is exactly kind of not what you want for right now. Yeah. Z targeting, not permanent Z targeting that you can't control. It's kind of stupid in this case. It's... Yeah, I think you also. I forget. All I know is that you can pull the chain if it's possible to get close enough to him. Oh wait, can you shoot shoot his head before you pull the chain? Maybe that'll stun him? I remember. I remember that. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, He's you like, have what? to fuck it. No. 
Oh, by falling, I cannot oh. get up. Oh, this fucking camera is shit. It's like Ocarina Time camera all over again. Yeah, what the shit? I'm just walking around and having it flail because it wants so badly to show you the thing he's doing. Supernova fail. Again, oh, this this game doesn't realize that I don't want to look at him all the time. No, he's really angry. I think the the heart container is it's kind of obvious that it's thin. <laughs> I think I think you know what I yeah, that kind of was piss once you figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, you shoot his head once, trip him once, slash away. I wonder how fast you can beat this guy. He 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 well done. Now we have two fused shadows away. You've been very helpful so far, so as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zan, oh boy. That's the name of the King of Darkness who put, cast this pall of shadow over your world. Of course, it's like... I can't believe this is the first time you heard about that. Yeah, we finally get to know who did it, and it's Zan, like, all the way... Way after Sand got introduced. Yeah. He's very strong. With a thonking emoji right there. <laughs> you would be nothing. But Zant will never be my king. The true rebel. <clears throat> Sounds familiar. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. I think your Zelda's much better. Wow. What the fuck? Well, anarchist confirmed. Anti-authoritarian, even though she's a queen. Maybe she just doesn't like when other people are queen, I don't know. It still appalls me that this world of light is controlled by that princess. A carefree youth, a life of luxury. How does that teach to you? Oh, so just the methodology, like... Oh, bro, the hell... Like, I mean... Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. But also, I'm just wondering, why the hell are they a fucking... Why is it a pr Why are they a princess? Um, I guess because her mom died and she's not old enough to be a queen, or slash she's not married yet. Because I think it or like requires, in order for a queen to be a queen, she has to be married to a king. Because misogyny. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't begrudge her the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all, and I'd never wish her on her. As long as I can get my hands on a few shadows, I'll be just fine. 
One me. more left. And finally he turns back to normal because you just ma- normally you just mash through this shit. Yeah. Six hearts. Woo! Can I can I do this still? No. Oh, can't pull him around, please. Just like the last one, it amuses me that I can still run around with the iron boots on right here. Okay. Like you have this nice chill music, and you're just running around with the fucking slowest walking mechanic. Slowest and, uh, and loudest? Yeah. Um, I can't tell if this is a glitch or intended. Um, probably intended, because you have to have the iron boots on, and it would be kind of shitty if you had to be in the center. You know what would have like, helped out with that? Given this part a little bit of a different texture. Yeah. I think ultimately this is an oversight, and they forgot to, uh, incorporate more of the, uh, you know what I guess? magnetite. Yeah, whatever. I'm guessing what happened was there was a beta version where you actually did have to be in the center, and they were in, th- and they were like what you were. They're like this is shit, so they made the whole thing proper. But, yeah, but they never got around to changing the texture. Yeah, like either time constraints and it kept getting pushed back, or they just never changed it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. This is the thing, and this is another example of a Zelda game where the boss door never works. Like, it's yeah. just a texture on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Nice texture. Isn't the next segment where you go to Castletown? Um, I think. Well, I know that it's in, it's the segment where you fly on the bird. Yeah. You end up exploring Hy- more of Hyrule in the next segment, so... I should save the game. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't lose the shield. Yeah, holy shit. Maybe I'll finally... Maybe I'll actually do it. Maybe I'll actually get the better shield. And then... You'll never have to worry about it. I don't even remember when you get that. Yeah, I don't remember either. Oh, I never saw the top of those. I didn't even know you could do that. It's just a big torque I don't think it can ever get the camera high enough to do that, except for that. Yeah, where it just... It has collisions, so it, it's so close that it just jumps on top of it. Either way, there it doesn't look like there's not much interest in here. I guess I should talk to the guy now. With this fucking flat head here. Yeah. <laughs> flat top. Yeah. Um. Mm. What am I doing here? My head, it hurts. So much pain. I cannot remember anything. I have exhausted his dialogue. Wow, this guy... Like, knowledge for the ages. I am confused and my head hurts. <laughs> That's basically it. Want to go outside? Are you all done here? 
No, you Holy still have three more hours to spend in the room. Yeah. No. I mean, it is a decent, like, it's a nice room. It's just there's that oversight. Yeah. And... Nothing really else going on. Yeah. This fucking warp pad right out of Metroid or some shit. <laughs> yeah. It's even making Metroid sounds. Beep boop. Yeah. It's like Metroid Prime 2 right here. Also, the music doesn't come back. If you come, if you like, you leave this and then you just come back to the soon the long path. I think the warp is still here, but the music doesn't come back. Yeah, it's only after you beat the boss, and after that, if you come back, it's gone. I could swear I remember like there was a place where you could hear it forever, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I don't know what the circumstances would be. Another place. Another fucking... It's one of those fucking... Oh my hero, my boy. <laughs> oh boy. It's the... the lips owl. Yeah. North of here, across the plain and past the Great Stone Bridge, in the land guarded by the Spirit Mary. Search for the thing. <laughs> you shall find the one you seek. Mm -hmm. My boy. gone too. You've got to save Leah. So what's, what if, what kind of shenanigans are they up to now? It never ends. I swear I'm gonna be fucking, like Ganon at the very end of the game is gonna be holding that character. Yeah. Like, hmm. I know you, you've you come to stop me from gaining the, the power to destroy Hyrule, but I'll have you know that I have this. Holds up, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> Those monsters left me with the other kids, but they have taken her somewhere else. So. Whenever I thought I could go, I, whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and my Leah and hold on, my boy. <laughs> See, I'm I'm fine now. Remember what I told you back in Ordon, my boy. I can barely remember. When I'm going... Um, something about, like, how he wanted to be, like, Link or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's literally, like, the anime, like... Like, kid who looks up to the hero. Yeah, exactly. This is anime as heck. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, my boy. I don't even remember that, by the way. I think I'm actually... The only thing, I, I think I might remember it just because it was like, my boy. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to worry about me anywhere. Go help Irene. Leave the children to me. I will watch over them. I swear. Do not let their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. Like, how can I do that with the corniest fucking... In Hyrule, countless tales are told of the ancient hero, and your deeds bring them all to mind. 
I'm not saying you are that hero, but heavily implying it. Yeah. May the graces of the great goddesses who shape Tyrol bear you on your way. Nice. So I think you can buy bombs now? No, I don't. I, yeah, probably. I don't remember. But the guy should be in the bomb shop. I don't remember where it is, so I'm just gonna check them all. Oh, this is the Mallow Mart? Hello. Why can't I... You can look at stuff, but don't you take things. Huh. Buy something. Literal freaking baby selling shit. I got the shield that is literally fucking... The super shield. I never have to worry about that other one again. Yay. Of course, now I'm almost out of money, but I don't care. I mean, you could always go back to the dungeon you were just in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And because I have the shield, it wouldn't be as bad. Yeah. Where is the bomb shop, anyway? Why is this place boarded up? Oh, this was that one place, wasn't ugly. it? Um, I think. There's a bunch of boarded up places here. Because the idea is that almost everyone in this town got genocided by the the, the Twilight Angries. We never even got to see them. I know. <laughs> no investment, just the idea that they died. The person who lived in this house is no longer alive. How do you feel about that? I don't know how I can feel about a person that I never met before. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But what if they're a ghost? <laughs> Maybe they're that thing right there. Yeah, they, they're reincarnated as a, a shiny golden ant. I guess that's a lore reason why this ant is here. Yeah. It's like, this was my home. Now I'm dead. Too bad he can't use his door that looks like an oven anymore. I guess he doesn't need it though. Yeah. You can just go up the top. I don't know if you can go up the top. No, you can't. I think you can still enter from the top, but you can't actually do the jumpy thing until you get wolf form back, I think. I don't know if you can even in then, but I'm pretty sure the warp zone is still there. Yeah. What is right this? Like, what is this little shop right here? Is he dead too? Um, I guess. Or I think uh, another Goron stands there and sells stuff later. So it's like a, a setup for another shop. We are very grateful for you, to you for saving our chief and our precious mines, brother. We caused a lot of trouble for the people of this town. It's our turn to repay them. Hey, brother, climb onto my back and I'll launch you up to the spring. Literal Chucksters from, yeah. from Mario Sunshine. I feel like I'm... You saved our chief, brother, and we are thankful. Now we will be able to come back down to the village. 
Since this, vi since this town was also attacked, I figured the townsfolk would need supplies. So my son and I brought some things down. Yeah, I think it's uh, the Sun Goron stand. It's down there because I remember he like he sells some shit later. Yeah. I don't know. A good warm soak is just what my mother's muscles need for evening falls. I sell stuff across from the bomb shop at night. So that's that guy. Yeah. So across from that stand should be the bomb shop. Sure. Wonder how I get up there. Is it even possible? Um, Kuko? I still lost a heart, but I didn't have any animation for it. Wow, nice. It's like speed running. together and open up shop. Sort of. I guess I've only got one bomb, but hey, that's more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. But hey, it ain't as bad Yeah, as gee, I wonder, I wonder who did that. Yeah. Then again, it was so shoddy that it fucking exploded. Yeah, so that was it was a it was a like a disaster waiting to happen. So it's probably a good thing that it blew up with nobody but bugs inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ain't as bad as all that. I'll add more types as we go. For now, you ain't got a bomb bag. Oh, you have to have the the bag. Oh, with the premium, okay. But I don't have enough money. What was it like, like 200? Why can't I run? Because it's rude to run inside buildings, duh. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally Pokemon logic, by the way. At least Poke- well, I mean... There isn't anything at least about Pokemon at all. Yeah, there is no at least. It's just dumb. Yeah. If there's anything, like... this is the at least. But it's still dumb. Yeah. It has its really stupid moments. The only at least that it can have without a doubt is at least it doesn't play by Pokemon's rules. Yeah. At least this game gives you the fucking illusion of being yeah, a Yeah, that you can make your own rules. And that there's... you've got full freedom of where to go. Pokemon like, it does a decent job, that. especially, like, after you get past the, the cumbersome beginning. Right. Pokemon doesn't even have that. Yeah, Pokemon is like... Like, what's this? Like, most of the games are like, what's this? You want to walk diagonally? And <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine walking diagonally. <laughs> it's interesting how humanity is like... Humanity is often like... We're so stupid sometimes that we don't even realize that things are bad until it just dawns on us. Yeah, you could be like, like waiting in bread lines and then suddenly be like, hmm, you know, I think it's kind of shitty that we have to wait in bread lines. <laughs> and it's like, Lily, you've been doing this for weeks now and it finally hit you. <laughs> exactly. I think that might have been his money that I stole right here. Nice. There's nothing in here. 
Like yeah, it's literally just like a money shit. It's money's in it. Maybe there's a hard piece at the top? I don't remember. All I remember is that this is the platform where you... Uh, what was it? Like you climb the tower and die or whatever. Oh, yeah. The suicide tower, Steve Run. I forget what it was. Like there was a fucking whatever the hell it is. And it was like Gymnast 86 that made a video about this. And it's, like, all serious, too. But, like, you can just tell he's laughing his ass off. My boy, check me out. I'm up here keeping watch for the whole town. Any more monsters try to attack and I'm gonna be ready. I shout my head off and warn everybody. But if I had a bow, you're not getting my bow. <laughs> you're not getting it. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't even get... Just forget about it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back at 300 rupees in no time. Yeah. Bonds, bombs, that's what it's called. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you a letter with the details later so you can read about it. The moment you step out into Hyrule Field, yeah. he'll be coming for you. Oh no. So can I, um... So what direction do I have to go? Um... So that I can get it over with. Uh... To... Hyrule Field? Actually, yeah, but... There's the um, horse over there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, there's a, there's a monies, I think. Like a secret. Or maybe a hard piece, I forget. Isn't this how I get over there? There's a chicken in here. Oh, I think there might be a hard piece on that one area. You know, that thing that doesn't... It, like, it's, it's like a wooden ledge. That it doesn't seem like you could jump to. I think this is it. Right. That chicken is gonna have a hard time getting out of here. But I don't know how he survived. I mean, I'm sure that chicken is like the juggernaut. Because he was in here all the time. Yeah. In fact, is that. No, that's a different chicken. Yeah, that's a gray chicken. There was a few chickens. They're super chickens. I should just call them every Like, I should just stop using the Zelda names for enemies just to troll people. Yeah, like lizard, goblin, skeleton. <laughs> Bat or chicken. I mean, I've already been calling them chickens. If you get mad, mission accomplished. Yeah. I don't die here. Mm. 
I think there's also a second heart container, but you have to have the uh, underwater bombs, which you don't get until later. Yeah. Actually, I don't... Uh, I think that it might not even be that far. But it uh, probably won't be this set. Yeah. I mean, I might as well try to, like... I should get on the horse and just see where I can go. Interesting how I can still go down there. Yes. Why is there two doors? Um. Okay. Oh, it's just it leads to the cemetery. I guess this is like a holy house. Probably. I mean, yeah, I guess it looks I just... like um. It looks kind of like a uh, uh, a sacred house of some type. You're right. actually makes me think, like, you never really get to see where they worship very much. Yeah, like, we know that they worship Elden, Furor, and, and, and Nehru. Like, we know that there's, there's, those are the main deities, but we don't really see much, like, like, they mention them a lot in conversation, right? But you don't really see a whole lot of symbols, like the like a terrible amount of symbols that we would consider like holding symbols. Right. Like there isn't like you know Christian cross people wear that shit on everything, <laughs> but you don't see a bunch of like ne Nehru symbol shit and whatever. Unless it's like Zora or whatever. Yeah. Greetings, yeah, the, my boy. The Zoras are, like, super. Yeah. Like, that's their whole thing. I have come to deliver a letter. This is a letter you for you, my boy. Two letters. <laughs> even does oh, the... <laughs> even does the tone. Like, the fucking tune there. My business is concluded. He said. There's a thing okay, up here. There is a thing up there. Though, I don't know if I can get that right now. No, I don't think you can. Just ignore the Vaseline on the left side of the sky. <laughs> yeah, there was a big spill over here. They uh, haven't quite cleaned it up yet. Also, nice, uh... I know they're supposed to be, like, leafers or whatever, but they just look like spinny cactuses. Why are they flying so slow? I guess this is the getaway moment. Yeah, they left their zones and went back. There's the aloe statue. Yep. Um. Uh oh. Oh, I remember this. I forget where it is. I forget where it ends up. Yeah, I also forget. It's not very but far, though. Yeah, now you can't get back. No! Do you think they'll teleport me there? Hey up. Hey up. Mm. It's not very hard, hey anyway. Hey up. Hey up. 
I think the map's starting to get ridiculous now. Yeah, freaking... I barely even remember this area, holy shit. Oh, is this the hidden village? Yeah, I think so, because I can't blow it up right now. Yeah. <clears throat> the, uh, the old western town. Yeah. In the middle of Zelda. Like, I'll get when used is... to this. Whoa. Kinda reminds me, like, in Metroid Prime 2, where the spider ball appears way before you get it. Yeah, this is this is pretty good, um, like Metroidian type design right here. Yeah. You go and you see this like weird ass path, and you're like, "What the what?" There's a thing over there, and it looks like the path goes to that. I mean, you immediately mm. know it's for an item or something. Yeah. It's just you have no idea what the item is. Oh, hello. Can I either, like get close or is it like I think a pony is scared. I wonder what it, like like this is a big question. What happens when a pony enters the field? Does she turn into like a weird ass horse? Or does she just turn into, like, a spirit? The world will never know. Does it even, like... I, I don't know. Yeah, asking the real questions. We're finally here. This is the last of the Twilight you'll see for a while. Whether or not you'll accomplish your final task and survive is up to you. What will you do? Time to enter the twilight zone. Yeah. You'll turn you back into a thing. You'll make you will become a wolf again. She likes it covering the world, but she doesn't like Zant. Right. And the fact that Zant has put like a specific brand of like like messed up twilight corrupted inhabitants instead right. of like generally benevolent twilight shit right also she knows yeah she knows exactly what is going to happen One of them, like, one of these views is, like, kind of shit. <laughs> like, this view right here is gar- like, it's shit. I can't see what's in front of me. Yeah. And this one is too high up. Yeah, it's almost like, like you have to just alternate between the two. <laughs> like... There is no like, omni view yeah. or even manual camera control. It's 
Seems like every one of these. My boy, could you promise me this? They said. They said. Just come home safely. I think it's too late for that. Why didn't you, like... Why do you have to do this? Is this... Because you have to find her, or, you're like, you, you were told to find her by Colin. But here's the question. Here's the real question. Why don't they just do it automatically? Why do you, why do you even have the option of saying no here? Um... To give players the choice to not play the game? <laughs> Because that's ultimately what it is. You either play the game or you don't. That yes or no is like literally, yes, I would like to stop playing now. Yeah. Because there is no other like non-option here. This thing could be quite old. Whoa, Vine Sauce is playing Oracle of Ages. Whoa, 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 what? I guess this is where I stop the game, then. Yeah. I guess I'll progress to the very next map, though. Yeah, at the very least, get to the the, the freaking light spirit so it can say, Yo, find my light pieces for me, bro. Finally get to Hyrule Castle. Yeah. For the fucking first time. Aside from that one time that doesn't count. We finally made it back here. It's a lot harder from here on. She's lying right here. Unless there's like this moment right here that kicks your ass and then it's like, it never happened. Hey, it's the tr it's the newt bird. Yeah. <coughs> No, oh, he's been playing it for 16 minutes. No, there's two of them. Mm -hmm. Double two. It's a massive, hmm? massive obese map. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. Oh my god! Minute explosion. It's weird because you have, it, it's almost kind of, like, what's the atmosphere? It's like, it's almost, I want to say, like, gross, I guess. To see, like, so here you are in this huge map that, like, completely dwarfs your character. But then you see, like, the enemies. The enemies are like little ants dotted along the path. Right. It's like so... Like... It just... It looks... Sloppy? Or whatever? It doesn't look fitting or whatever. It doesn't look natural. I think I just went the wrong way. Wait a minute. That's the way that I'm supposed to go. There's another place. I think it's around here. Yeah, this place. Theater. Like, why is this even here? <laughs> I think it's like an amphitheater. Right. But it's all ruined and destroyed. That makes sense. It 
it's like just... I think it's just a place for an item. Yeah, like ultimately that's what it is. But the idea is that it's like... Like this is a like a semi-historic place for Hyrule where people would hold plays outdoors or whatever. You're right. Hyrule Castle Town. Woo! Nice. This is the, probably the most notable. Like, this is where it starts lagging. I don't know. Too much things. I can't move the camera at all. Oh, yeah, the, the camera in this area is completely fixed. I remember this shit, too. Oh, hello. I remember this. She, he can... Here. Wait a second, what's going on with this water lately? I don't know why you're hassling me about this. The only reason for there to be a water shortage here is if something happened at, the, at, at Lake Highway. Yeah, because something did happen. Of course. If you already know what the problem is, what are you still doing here? It might be the case, but Lake Highway is under the jurisdiction of Western Hyrule. Good for nothing. They don't even know what's going on. Yeah. They're just... In fact, these people are just chilling. They have no idea that, that things are bad. Honestly, they're probably not very... Like, they're probably not even that crazy. Like, they're... Like, I want to say, like, they're not exactly wrong... Yeah, there is something wrong with the water, but there's also a couple of other things wrong, too. Yeah. This place has a very, um... It reminds me of the fucking Beta Hyrule Castle. Like Ocarina Time, the map that was in the leak. Yeah. That was square. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt if they reused some of the inspiration that they wanted to, like the the complexity that they wanted to include in the original Castle Town right. for this. I guess I should stop right now. Yeah, this is a good stopping point. In that case. There we go. Actually, better than I thought. Yeah, definitely better than last set. Like, even the free roam sections, or free roam in quotes, where you have to go someplace but you get to run around, yeah. was a lot better. Seems to be, like, not very much. It's like, there's a pro- like, there isn't- There's, um, maybe it's just my mood. Yeah, I think that could, like, be a, one of the bigger reasons. Yeah. Or maybe it's just starting to get good, or I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely picking up in pace, that's for sure. Yeah. It's no longer, like, here is five cutscenes back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Um
there's probably still going to be a lot of problems, but maybe I'll just learn to have fun anyway. Like, I think that's what happened, really. Yeah. Um. Speaking of leaks, there were more leaks. But yeah, yeah, I I saw the uh, the thing. It's still nothing crazy though. I mean, Pokemon Picross. Oh boy! Named. Yes, Picross, my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, it's legit. It's, <laughs> it's like I never even played it. In fact, I remember a TZN live stream in 2011 where they played Mario Picross. And, um. Yeah. It had been so long that I had gotten it confused at one point. Well. Like, I remember seeing, like, some people talking about Pokemon Picross. Like, oh, this game that never came out, and I'm like. Wait a minute, don't I remember someone playing that? So yeah. <laughs> Turns out later it was a completely different game, but... That's the, like the amount that I care about that game. Yeah, I never played Picross, so I don't even know. Um, but hey, did you did you hear that the, they uh, announced a... Uh, this isn't a leak, but they announced... Hyrule Warriors Botto to ex like actually expand upon what happened a hundred years ago prior to Hyrule Warriors or n pr prior to Botto. I mean, he, uh, I have never seen, I didn't watch it. I mean, it's um, Hyrule Warriors, yeah, but it ties into a main game, really, like canonically, really. In their announcement trailer, they said they were working very closely with the team. To make sure that this could, like, not only be a fun Hyrule Warriors game, but also tie into the actual Zelda timeline. Doesn't that mean they actually have to play this? Um, not really. I mean, you don't have to play any of the Zelda games. I mean, but, yeah, I could just look it up, but yeah. Technically speaking, this is the. This is still like a um. I guess a side game, but it's a side game with actual like meant to expand upon pre-existing lore. Like if I if I like will I miss I mean, like will I miss anything important about later games if I don't play this? Um, probably not, because it literally everything in this game, like you already know how this game is going to end up. Right. Because it's directly like. It's the events, this game is based on the events that caused Bado to happen, so ultimately Link is going to lose, everyone is going to die. So, <laughs> you already know how it's gonna happen. Yeah, that's the fucking... Like it's the just fucking you get to play it and experience right it. Beginning. Like, it's the yeah. foregone downer ending, because we already know what's going to happen. Before you even see the first pixel of the game. Speaking of which, I never even finished Breath of the Wild. Of course, you know that, but... Yeah. Maybe we'll eventually get there. I wonder how many controllers will be broken by the time I get it done. Um, potentially not that many... Hopefully. I hope hopefully none, but I kinda doubt it. I mean you've but already yeah. heard me rant about game difficulty, at least in regards to how I play games. Yeah. And how you'd prefer a a more less stressful and a hideously like skill based thing. I mean, I guess it makes you feel I mean Cause when you think yeah, about it, like some people, some people like that shit, but also some people can't handle that shit. That's why Dark Souls isn't really for everyone. Right. 
Like, I know if I tried to play Dark Souls, I would be very upset. Yeah, it's like, like not really point. angry, but like when I freaking there's this stupid ass monster that's like a, technically a, a pseudo non canon monster in Monster Hunter World really? that is the behemoth from Final Fantasy. Like they oh. put it in as like a like a, a tie in with Final Fantasy just for funsies. Right. Um. And it is such a piece of shit monster. Holy shit. I've died like five times with a team of competent, like over level 100 players. Because it has this stupid move that if you don't like hide behind these rocks that spawn to, to help you block it, you die instantly. Like, in the, like, uh, with. Dark Souls. Dark Souls is basically almost entirely stuff like that. Only it's single player only. I mean, there's, I mean, there's multiplayer, people... but it's not. It's very competitive, mainly. I mean, there's some people, a lot of people actually, for when they when they get good and they beat games like that, it makes them feel good. Yeah, it's like, like it's I, a I know eventually hit. I'll beat it. Like I've I've got to like why would they make an impossible monster? Right. And uh, like I and I can't wait finally <laughs> never have to fight it again. Yeah. Um. But just getting there is so stressful and it feels so like it's not unfair but so cheap. Right. I mean, there's also like you say cheap. There's a value to like. Do you think that? It will make, like, do you think that the thing that you'll get out of beating the game is worth the amount of effort it'll take? Yeah, ultimately, no. In the case of the behemoth, ultimately, no. I'm just doing it because I'm a completionist, and I hate, like, seeing a mission that I haven't completed. Because right. it's like, well, shit, I have to do it all now. <laughs> like, so that's the only reason why I'm trying to beat this. I don't actually care that much about Final Fantasy. Or the armor that I'll get out of it or whatever. I'm just trying to beat it because, like, there's a marker that says it's not finished yet. And I want to make that marker go away. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like... I think it was Pokemon. Where I don't even play Pokemon. I just look up spoilers as soon as it comes out. I mean, honestly, like... Yeah, like, that's still a legitimate way to experience Pokemon, regardless of what people say. Yeah. And because ultimately, if you don't enjoy the game, but enjoy everything else about it, well, like, you're still a Pokemon fan. Like, right. holy shit. Um, there's also, um... I mean, yeah, some people get hot, like, some people... Like, they fucking... Like, they beat this boss. It makes them high. Um... But for, I feel like, most people, including myself, it just makes it, like, I've just completed something that was ridiculously insane, and I hope I don't have to do that again, because... It feels like luck every time. It feels like it's just luck that I managed to beat something. Yeah, like, I, I feel that very rarely. Like, if I'm fighting something that's obviously, like, ridiculously strong, in the case of the Behemoth, which is meant to be fuck you hard, um, yeah, it, I feel exactly that way about it. Like, I feel like, as, like I'd love to finish it and never have to fight it again because it's just a piece of shit. And I don't feel like I could do anything better to, to help this, like, practically, like, the way the rocks spawn before it does the supernova attack are completely RNG. So if it spawns, like, a mile away from your character, you're just fucked. Right. Like, there's no stopping you. You're just dead. So, it's... Yeah, that's how I feel about the Behemoth, but thankfully, most of the other monsters in the game, I don't feel that way about them. I feel like they're fairly well-balanced. They have attacks 
that when you first encounter them, they like rake the floor with you, but then you realize and start picking up, like, hey, when it does this, you can dodge it. Right. Um. But yeah, in your case, like, I guess you just have like a lower, a, a lower for floor before that stuff starts irritating you to the point where it's not enjoyable anymore. I think it's partly because I don't play games much. Yeah, and that's definitely the case. Like getting like especially with bottle with Bado, um, uh, if I don't play it for very long and I haven't played it in months now, um uh, fighting a Lionel feels like that. It feels like why am I doing this? This just sucks. <laughs> yeah. Interesting how you can go from that to wiping the floor with them. Yeah. And then and, and there's like parts too where like for maybe I'm just not like maybe like cuz like when I wrote the OB, when I wrote the model viewer like it feels good when I like when it was finally done and I could do and I could like when it was finally done, that and I could enjoy my spoils. It felt good. It felt good, like it would to you when you beat a boss like that. Yeah. Or to some people when they beat like Dark Souls or whatever. Um. So I can see how they feel, but I don't think that. Maybe it's just because it's ultimately a video game. Like, oh, like you bought it, you like you fucking tortured yourself to beat a boss at a video game. Who the hell gives a shit? Yeah. It's just different perspectives. Like, you know, at least I made something with this program that I can get thing I can get work done with it. Like with, yeah. Like, Whereas with video games, you don't really think that they have much of a like. I mean, ultimately, they don't have much of an effect unless you just like the experience. Right. I mean, I guess video games are like like once in, like once you have your food, like once you've like done your farming to get your food, and you've like have your fucking electricity. And you have everything sorted out. What is there left to do? Like when everything, like when you have everything taken care of, what is there left to do? Like when you have everything taken care of, and everyone else has everything taken care of, there isn't anything left to do except enjoy yourself. Yeah. And I guess video games let you do that. But I guess it's like what you said, a, a difference in perspective. Yeah, because not everyone's going to get the same satisfaction out of the same, like, thing, be it hobby or even the same video game. Like I said, there's some people who just can't, like, they could play Dark Souls, but they wouldn't enjoy it. And I don't think I would enjoy it either. But I love watching Dark Souls. Right. So it's, yeah. And some people just can't get that sort of like that that sort of feeling of accomplishment out of video games, even if they think they're fun to play, uh, and rather still get their their sense of accomplishment out of like things that they consider like true material accomplishments, like right. finishing a program or doing an art or something like that. Right. And that's like none of that's like invalid. Even the people who, like, their biggest accomplishments is they beat, like, like, Takeshi's Challenges, one of the most piece-of-shit, stupid games ever made. Like, even if that's, like, their main accomplishment, and they really like that accomplishment, and they feel like they've done something big, you know, that's still, like, a valid accomplishment. Right. Even if other people don't agree with it. So, yeah. Just different perspective. I 
I don't have anything else. I mean, I still haven't streamed the Minecraft map. But, you know, you said you're going to have to get off soon. For Yeah. I mean, there is a commission that I'm going to get. Which I literally just started, so there's no... There's nothing to show except for my little shitty sketch, which I literally just made because I wanted to commission something. Yeah. <coughs> um. But yeah, that is as that has been what is going on. Still need to post that video. Which at this point I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. It's a uh, star red. Yeah, that's what that is. An average. Let's see, average in quotes. Slightly larger than the anime depiction of Stirrup. <laughs> but what do you expect? Yeah. I just think it's it's funny that it's slightly larger than the than the normal anime depiction of it. Like right. unironically. <laughs> I mean you're technically Which is, true. Yeah. It's just perspective, I guess. I mean, the the anime depiction of it wasn't even that crazy until the one episode. Yeah, where it seems like they just went overboard. And by overboard, they, I guess, stopped following the size model sheet and just made it as big as they felt like. Yeah. In this case, it's big just because I wanted to be a big bird here. Yeah. It's supposed to be Dawn on the top there. Because it's Star Raptor. Yeah, and it's a Sinnoh. Yeah. This will be, and this is an all 0412 picture, by the way. So. Probably like halfway between Introvert Nacho and Blackwing 2, I suppose. Yeah. They have a really nice anime style, though. Yeah, they do. Right. <coughs> Is there anything else? I mean, the description of this picture is supposed to be Dawn on the top of the Star Raptor, and it's hug, and she's hugging his head. So I guess, yeah. but it's just I'm terrible. Yeah, I see what you were going for, though. Kind of a surprise that the... I mean, you can tell that it's really sketchy, but it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's fairly, like, clear still. Like, even with the sketchiness. Right. You can still tell what's going on without, like, any real explanation. Right. anything else there's I mean there's also these midis that I converted 
there's better basically made better MT32 versions, which I might have told you about. Yeah. I think you'd mentioned them. There's um well I recently figured out because MT32 only has eight channels and a drum channel. So the idea is you just split the midis so that it works. Like you just have two instances of the emulator and then you split the midis so that one goes to one of the like the first half goes to the one instance and the other half goes to the other instance and you play them at the same time and it works. Nice. I mean, it's still MT32. There's still not going to be... It's not going to be perfect. I mean, the Generation 4 ending of Diamond and Pearl doesn't sound... I mean... It's kind of... Like, it does some effects with MIDI that it doesn't... MT32 doesn't like. So... It yeah. For the first minute, it's kind of off. But then it gets fucking amazing. Nice. And I converted them to Opus 2, so it's not just nuts, of course. I have to put them up somewhere. But yeah, I don't have anything. Yeah. I guess that's it then. So, yeah. so in this case, I hope that will... Uh, what was it? I can't fucking forget. Like... I hope that y'all enjoyed that. And we'll see you next time. So, see ya. See ya. <laughs>